What you have witnessed is an individual suffering from a rheumatoid arthritis flare-up. Rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disease whereby the body mistakenly attacks the joints. This leads to systemic and chronic inflammation of the joints and surrounding tissue. When rheumatoid arthritis flares up occurs, patients can experience swelling, pain and stiffness of the joints, particularly in the joints of the wrists and fingers. These debilitating side effects acting over a lengthy period of time, as well as the destruction of bone and cartilage tissue, can lead to permanent immobility and joint deformity. There are a number of treatment options available for rheumatoid arthritis sufferers, however we'll be focusing on disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs, or DMARDs for short. DMARDs have been proven to be a very useful class of medication in helping reduce inflammation and pain while also preventing further damage to cartilage and joints. There are two types of DMARDs, conventional and biological. Conventional DMARDs are slow-acting drugs that target broader components of the immune system. Methotrexate is the most common conventional drug used and is the first drug of choice in rheumatoid arthritis patients. On the other hand, biological DMARDs are a new type, newer and faster type of drug. These biological DMARDs are genetically engineered proteins and antibodies derived from human genes and are designed to inhibit specific components of the immune system, thus mitigating inflammation. Biological DMARDs are taken intravenously, while conventional ones are taken orally. Due to the first pass metabolism, the efficacy of biological DMARDs is much greater than those of conventional ones. However, polytherapy involving both drugs is often used. Different biological therapies include anti-tumor necrosis factor drugs or anti-TNF drugs such as infliximab, B-cell specific CD20 antigens such as rituximab, T-cell co-stimulation inhibitors such as abaptocept, and interleukin-6 receptor inhibitors such as toxilizumab. Infliximab acts as an anti-TNF agent. It works by neutralizing the activity of TNF-alpha by binding to both transmembrane and soluble TNF-alpha, preventing the TNF-alpha from binding to receptors. The TNF-alpha in the body acts as a signal protein which mediates inflama inflammation. Thus, by preventing its binding to the certain molecules through receptors, the systematic inflammation can be prevented. Side effects of infliximab include increased risk of infection and hematological disorders, headache and dizziness, heartburn, stomach pain, and upper gastrointestinal infections. Rituximab acts as an antibody, antibody by targeting CD20 proteins located on the surface of B cells. The drug binding to the CD20 proteins reduce the abundance of B cells in the body by either mobilizing immune cells to engulf cells by phagocytosis, activating lysis, or inducing B cell apoptosis. Side effects of this drug include increased risk of infections as well as an increased risk of hematological disorders, night sweats, diarrhea, back or joint pain. Toxilizumab acts as a competitive inhibitor of the both membrane-bound and soluble interleukin-6 receptors. Thus, toxilizumab prevents the cytokine, IL-6, from binding to its receptors and mitigating B and T cell activity, which causes the reduction in the, in the, in the inflammatory response. Toxilizumab side effects include upper respiratory tract infections, nasopharyngitis, headache, injection site irritation, dizziness, and or fainting. Biological DMARDs can be given by themselves or in combination with conventional DMARDs, commonly in methotrexate. However, research has been shown that the combination treatment of both these drugs are in most cases to be more effective than monotherapy treatment. It is important to note, however, that DMARDs can't and won't cure the damage already caused by arthritis, but instead, the joint pain and swelling can be reduced significantly, which results in an improvement in bodily function as well as quality of life. A study conducted by Janssen et al. showed that there was a significant model reduction in pain from the patient global assessment and the health assessment questionnaire. The results showed that more than 96% chance that the alpha-TNF combination with a methotrexate it produces a greater reduction in pain and 96% of the improvement in the patient global assessment compared to alpha TNF as a monotherapy. For the human for the health assessment questionnaire, there is a 92% chance that the alpha TNF with methotrexate is more efficacious than monotherapy. Overall, biological DMARDs are very effective in the treatment and suppression of pain and swelling. However, previous data shows that the most effective therapy involves polytherapy treatment with both DMARDs administered. With this treatment, the quality of life in the patients have improved significantly and will continue to do so in the future.